welcome to the testing world in previous two sessions we have seen how we can create project package class variable and constant in this session we are going to create basic functions functions is also called method so in java methods and functions are same and we are going to create object of the class and going to call these functions so moving to the eclipse and here we have a constant and variable which we have created in the previous session so other than variable and constant if you want to write any other code we have to create function for that to create function we are going to use same syntax as we are doing in C programming language so hopefully everybody is aware about the C syntax like void main bracket and that's the function body so in C we are creating the main function here in Java we can create any function so I'm creating the function with the name hello and in Java as of now with each function I'm going to use a keyword public but later on we are going to understand private protected default but as of now whatever the function we are going to create that will be a public so we have created a function with the name hello and it's a public function what is the meaning of the public we are going to understand in the later part of this Java series so as of now we have a public function with the name hello so that's a function and and that's the start and the end of the function means that the body of the function so whatever the code you want to write in function you have to write inside this body now I'm coming to the body so in C programming language if you want to write something on the console you are going to use printf same like C if you want to write something on the console here we are going to use system.out.println in the starting of this Java learning it's difficult to understand this syntax so I'm going to show you some shortcuts we can use these shortcut while learning and once we are having good knowledge of Java then we can directly write the syntax so as of now we are not aware about the syntax so I'm going to show you a shortcut so if you want to write system.out.println which is used to write something on the console we can use SYSO and just control space as you press control space it's going to display the complete syntax whatever you want to write on console you can write it over here like welcome to testing word so that's a function which we have created with the name hello and inside the function we have written a simple system.out.println which is going to write something on the console now inside the class we have a constant variable and a function so let's try to run it I'm going to this run button and just press on it I'm going to execute it as a Java application so I'm running it and here it shows error like selection does not contain a main type so we are going to compare this with the C programming language as you know in C programming language we have main method so what is the use of the main method so main is the starting point of the execution we can understand main like that shows the starting point means whenever we are executing our program it will start executing from the main method here in Java the concept is same we should have a main method because when we are executing from which point my execution should be started so for that we have to create a main method in Java the syntax of the main is public static void main it, it is difficult to remember the syntax at the start I'm going to show you shortcut so write main and just control space it asks for do you want to create this main method yes I want to create a main method and here you can see a main method is generated that's the start of the body of the main method that's the end of the body so whatever you want to write inside the main method you can write it over here 
like I want to write system.out.println so I'm using shortcut SYSO control space this is main method I try to execute it again and here we see because it got the execution starting point so it is executing my main method so we are getting a result like this is main method so my main method is executed successfully now I want to execute this hello removing this line now next point we need to understand very carefully if you are new to the Java the next line or the next statement which are next part which I'm going to do you must keep it remember like in Java if you want to call any method first we need to check which method you want to call so I want to call the method hello now check which class this method belongs to so this hello method belongs to the class class a we need to create the object of this class to create the object we can go to this main because my main is going to be executed when we press this run button so I'm coming to the main and creating the object of the class syntax of creating the object of class is first the class name so my class name is class a then object name so my object name is obj you can give any name this to this object equal to new again class name so again class a and the brackets so that's the syntax to create object now I want to call a method hello which belongs to the class class a I have created the object of this class to call the method we are going to use this object so obj dot and which method you want to call hello so I just press h and it shows this is a hello method yes I want to call this now control s to save it execute it again and this time you can see I am able to call my hello method so that is one of the most important for newbies of Java if you don't have any understanding of the Java then that's the first rule you must remember like whatever the method you want to call check which class this method belongs to this method belongs to the class a so create the object of the class and call method so here we can see we have created the object of the class a and the syntax of creating the object is like class name object name object name could be anything like I'm giving the name of the object is X so here we can also use X create the object of the class by the name X object name is X and we are calling the method by using that object syntax is always same like class name object name equal to new class name bracket and then semicolon so we have seen we have created a method and we have called that method by creating the object of the class one more important thing I want to show you like as of now I have only one class here in the same class we have that method hello and we also have main method I'm going to remove main method from here I want to create main method in some other class in project in one Java project we can have only one main method so I'm going to create this main method in any other class I'm going to this package I'm going to create one more class the name of the class could be anything I'm giving the name B now inside the B I want to create main method so again main control space it's going to generate complete syntax here we have now I want to call the method hello hello method belongs to the class a so here inside the main we have to create the object of the class object of class a because my method hello exists in this class a so to create the object class name object name new class name and to call the method we are just using obj which is object dot hello 
we have created the object and we are calling method just click on the run button and here we see we are able to call method so you can take it as a rule like whatever the method you want to call first create object of the class and then call the method and if you understand this approach you are going to understand java very easily because that's the core of the java like we are going to have a lot of methods in selenium in java whenever you want to call any method just create object and call method and while working with the selenium you are going to find out a lot of methods which we need to call so we are going to follow this approach like create object and call method object is created for the class we have the class with the class name a class a and we have created that object and calling that method i'm going to create one more method over here like public void testing i'm giving the method name is testing and here this is testing method now i want to call the testing method so again check which class this testing method belongs to so this testing method belongs to the class with the name class a so i already have the object of the class a we can call the method directly because we already created the object first we are calling the hello method now i can use the same object and call any other method which is testing running it and here we see first we are calling hello method then we are calling testing method i have called two methods of a class with the name class a one more thing i want to show you like as of now we have both the classes in the same package it might be possible we have a class in different package so i'm going to create a class in the different package the package name is registration so i'm right click right click on this package new i'm going to create a class with the name c and in this c class i'm going to create a method with the name my testing so again the syntax is same that's the name of the method that's public we are going to create all the methods public as of now here i want to display this is class c method so name of the class is c now i am going to the main so that's my main which method you want to call i want to call this my testing method to which class this method belongs to this method belongs to the class c if you want to call c class method first we need to create the object of the class c so here i am coming to create the object first you are using class name then object name i am giving the name this time obj1 new class name semicolon and obj1 dot my testing so as you write you are going to see that we are getting some error over here why we are getting that error so whenever you are creating the object of any class it's going to check like where this class is located so if the class is in the same package as we have seen when we are working on class a so i am on the class b and this class a are on the same package so if you are on the same package that completely fine but here the class c belongs to the different package so while creating the object of a class that belongs to a different package we need to import that package so either you can click on this error and just select the first option so it shows like you are going to use class c which belongs to the package registration so i select this and here you can see it added the code import registration.c means we are going to use a class which belongs to this registration package so i summarize it again like if you are using like i remove these lines remove this line as well as of now we have just created the object of class a 
this class A belongs to the same package means my class B in which we are getting the object and class A for which we are getting the object both belongs to the same package. So if the class for which you are getting the object belongs to the same package that's completely fine. But if you are creating the object of any other class like I'm going to create the object of the class C which belongs to a different package is going to throw error means it is not able to understand where this class resides where this class exists so you can click on this error and you can select the first option yes I want to use this class C which exists in this registration package you can check like C belongs to the registration package so yes as you select it it's going to add this line like I'm going to use the C class in the registration package now we have the object of the C class and you want to call the method of the C class so obj1 dot method name was my testing and now you can call the method just running it and we can see we are able to call class C method so here we have seen we can create the object of any class belongs to the any package inside our project if you are using if you are creating the object of class which belongs to a different package just need to add this line so we are writing line like we are using the class C of this registration package so few things that we need to remember till the end of this course like whenever you want to call the method just create the object and call method object creation syntax is same like class name object name new class name brackets in the session we have created method we are getting the object of the classes and we are calling the method of these classes by using object. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.